So how old are you now? 71. 71. Isn't that insane? I didn't think that would ever happen. I moved here in 92 and had studios everywhere I've ever lived since about age 20, I guess. You know, studio in one form or another. Uh, in the late, well, mid to late 60s, the synthesizer was invented or at least made available to musicians and the public by Robert Moog. And that was priced so far out of anybody's league that, you know, you could only sit and listen and dream. And I just loved the sounds. I loved the possibilities of the sounds. And uh, so I determined I would build my own synthesizer. And this whole revolution started of home studios, you know, and at last you didn't have to spend a thousand dollars an hour in a commercial space to to realize your musical ideas, you know. So that's one of the coolest things that's ever happened. You know, I don't sit down and write music out in manuscript. I basically improvise a part at a time. And each part kind of suggests what the next part's going to do. So how many albums have you made? Six. That sounds egotistical, doesn't it? Not a lot of people have heard it. It's very, I think it's moody. It's not always in a down mood. It's, sometimes it's in an up mood. But it always has a overriding image to it. I heard about a contest called the Colorado Composers Classic. And my wife and I were just about to leave Colorado to go live on Whidbey Island in Washington State. I had just enough equipment to record a song for this contest. And I sent it in, never thinking about it again. And a couple of months later, I got a call from my sister-in-law telling me that I'd won first place in the easy listening category of all categories, which is not my favorite kind of music. <laughs> And the prize was studio time in Colorado, in a studio, but I was already gone, so I never got to use the studio time. But uh, that's kind of a feather in my cap. Between the years of 20 and 25, I kind of realized it wasn't going to be my life, it wasn't going to be my career. And, but I, I didn't stop. I never stopped doing it because, you know, I enjoy it. It's, uh, it's on the level of a hobby now, but it's something I, I just do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give it a whole lot of thought, I just do it.